is this an electrolytic cell or a galvanic cell? 9.1. Obviously, this is an electrolytic cell. You know, one of the reasons being that we have a power source. 9.1. 9.2. So let's go back to the question statement and see what is happening. The diagram below represents a cell used for the refining of copper. So we have electrode Q and R and the electrolyte. The unrefined copper contains zinc as the only impurity. So let's make sense of the situation. We need to figure out what the anode is and what the cathode is. So let's see. We are refining um, copper. So we have unrefined copper at one of the electrodes. So we need the unrefined copper at the anode, actually. We need the unrefined copper at the anode so that oxidation can take place and then copper can get deposited at the cathode. So in an electrolytic cell, uh, obviously we have a positive terminal here um, and the negative terminal. So in an electrolytic cell, where do we find the anode? Is it at the positive terminal or is it at the negative terminal? We find the anode at the positive terminal. Uh, that is true for all electrolytic cells. So we know that here we have the impure copper, so to say. Right. And the yet electrode Q at the negative terminal, uh, we have... Uh, the cathode, so impure copper at the anode, and here we have the cathode. So we need to be uh, able to deduce that. Right, now the question, when the switch is closed, it is found that after T hours, it is found that it is found, what are they saying? When the switch is closed, it is found after T hours, that the amount of copper 2 plus ions in the electrolyte changed by 0 0.05 moles and 0 0.15 moles of copper were deposited on electrode Q. Okay, it's fine. And then 9.2.1, how will the concentration of zinc ions in the electrolyte be affected during the refining of the copper? So obviously the answer to 9.2.1 is that it increases, right? Uh, the concentration of zinc ions increases in the electrolyte because at the anode uh, where we have the impure copper we have two oxidation reactions taking place essentially we have copper becoming copper two plus plus two electrons and then we have zinc becoming zinc two plus plus two electrons but only copper two plus goes to the cathode so with that said uh, the zinc two plus in will be in the electrolyte so the concentration is increasing in the electrolyte during the refining of copper so that is 9.2.1 and then 9.2.2 will the amount of copper 2 plus ions increase or decrease explain the answer in terms of the relative strength of the oxidizing agents that is 9.2.2 so the answer here is decrease right the amount of copper 2 plus will decrease in the electrolyte so why is that the case we have copper 2 plus and zinc 2 plus in the in the electrolyte right and then one between these two has to go to the cathode and get reduced right so that is why the question says explain the answer in terms of the relative strength of the oxidizing agents present so we have copper 2 plus in the electrolyte and we also have uh, zinc 2 plus so strength of the oxidizing agent so let's go back to the basics the oxidizing agent wants to get reduced that's what we have to um we have to comprehend the oxidizing agent is what gets reduced and then the reducing agents it's what gets oxidized right so copper 2 plus and zinc 2 plus are, are our two oxidizing agents but copper 2 plus is a stronger oxidizing agent 
compared to zinc 2 plus so copper 2 plus gets reduced to form copper at the cathode so the concentration of copper 2 plus will decrease right so that is 9.2.2 and then 9.2.3 calculate the change in mass of electrode r after t hours for six marks so let's take a look at this um so we have our reaction taking place obviously uh we have oxidation taking place and then we have some zinc two plus in the electrolyte and then we have copper two plus in the electrolyte as well but what we know is that the copper two plus is was gonna get reduced at the cathode to form copper so let's let's make sense of what is happening so the amount of copper two plus in the electrolyte changed by 0 0.05 okay so let's write that down so by 0 0.05 uh, moles that is so the number of moles of copper 2 plus in the electrolyte they change by 0 0.05 moles okay and then the second step we are told that uh, the number of moles of copper not copper 2 plus but the number of moles of copper uh, that were deposited at the in the electrode uh, electrode q which is our cathode is 0 0.15 moles right so let's make sense of this um in the electrolyte there's a change of 0 0.05 so what does that tell us it tells us that a uh, 0 0.05 moles of copper 2 plus that were deposited in the cathode were coming from the electrolyte so we have a total of 0 0.15 moles at the cathode 0 0.05 moles are coming from the electrolyte uh someone is trying to call me 0 0.05 is coming from the electrolyte and 0 0.1 mole therefore to give us the total of 0 0.15 that was uh, deposited at the cathode so the 0 0.1 is what's coming from the anode therefore this is what's coming from the anode right so the 0 0.05 it comes from the electrolyte and then the 0 0.1 mole comes from the anode as oxidation is taking place right but not only is uh, we know that at the anode there's two reactions taking place right this zinc becoming zinc 2 plus and this copper becoming copper 2 plus all right and then the rate of oxidation is equal to the rate of reduction we need, we need to remember that as well the rate of oxidation is equal to the rate of reduction so uh, at the electrolyte the concentration of the electrolyte is to remain the same right but then we have 0 0.05 moles of electrolyte that is being used of copper 2 plus so how is the concentration of the electrolyte remaining the same therefore this is replaced by zinc 2 plus so the number of moles of zinc 2 plus in the electrolyte is 0 0.05 moles right so it means that at the cathode not at the cathode but at the anode at the anode we lost 0. 1 moles of copper at the anode and then we also lost 0 0.05 moles of zinc at the anode so that's what we lost we lost 0 0.1 moles of copper and 0 0.05 moles of zinc right but the question says calculate the change in mass of the electrode r after t hours so now that we have the number of moles of copper and the number of moles of zinc we can just go ahead and calculate the mass of the two so the mass of copper obviously number of moles multiplied by molar mass so this is going to be 0 0.1 so my periodic table what is the molar mass of copper uh 63.5 63.5 so this is going to be 6.35 grams so that is the mass of copper and then the mass of zinc 
that is going to be equals to 0 0.05 multiplied by molar mass of zinc um i'm literally looking at the predict here will 65 right so let me put that in my calculator 0 0.05 multiplied by 65 that is 3.25 so the mass of zinc is 3.25 grams that we lost at the anode so calculate the change in mass in electrode r right so the change in mass therefore will be 6.35 plus 3.25 so plus 6.35 uh, this is 9.6 grams calculate the change in mass in the electrode so there's a decrease of 9.6 grams at the electrode R, which is our anode. Here we go.